also in Norfolk, why can't the school system seem to keep a superintendent? Wednesday, the board announced it was parting ways with Samuel King. A day later, Dr. King attended a news conference with members of the board, but nothing was really said about the separation. So what's really going on with the Norfolk School Board? Penny your size, Janine Reyes continues to follow this story and has a new perspective. Janine? Well, Tom, we've heard from school board members, a superintendent, local political activists, and now a parent. All say there are big problems in Norfolk Public Schools. All say the solution does not just lie in getting rid of Dr. King. They say it's a much bigger mess. I'm not going to sit and pretend that the school board just solved all our problems by finding Dr. King. They are the problem. Norfolk Federation of Teachers President Thomas Calhoun has no problem pointing the finger at what he believes is dragging down Norfolk Public Schools. The division has struggled for years to keep academic accreditation and has been a revolving door for superintendents. Dr. Sam King will leave April 30th. Parent Lisa Suhey has two kids currently in Norfolk Public Schools. Obviously, we've changed superintendents so many times now. How can it be the superintendents that are at fault? So if it's not the superintendent, what is it? I'm not smart enough to work this one out. I think we'd all like to find one person to blame, but I think that this is an ensemble. She's not a fan of the school board either. She says she stopped going to school board meetings when parent input never led to change. She hopes an elected school board will be part of the solution but it will be years before the board of seven is selected entirely by voters. Lisa says she hopes to see a solution well before that. She has two kids out of the school system, but two more now in fifth and 10th grade. And for now, Norfolk Public Schools is where they'll stay. We can't afford private schools. I believe in public schools. Even if I could afford it, I'd want my kids in a public school. I believe in the teachers in this district. And here's yet another entity weighing in tonight. The group Better Together Norfolk is pushing for a community collaborative effort to select the new superintendent, saying Norfolk Public Schools is at a critical point in its history. They're hoping that, coupled with the community selected board, will eventually fix a system they feel has been broken for way too long. Live in the newsroom tonight, Janine Reyes, 10 on your side.